Today we're having a look at an eyeliner that is supposed to be so easy to use that even the beginner can get the perfect eye. Let's check it out. The eyeliner system that should help even the Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're looking at a product range called Guide Beauty, and this range of products was developed by Terry Bryant, who is a makeup artist, and it was developed as she herself found the need. She was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease after she had noticed that there was sort of a shakiness as she was working on clients in the makeup space, and a lot of the tools and a lot of the tricks and things that she needed to do, she was finding she wasn't able to do physically. So she's created a range of products that are designed to be accessible to everyone. So it, there's a lot of ergonomics that went into the creation of her products, so they're designed to be used for people who might struggle with holding products in a certain manner, so that it means that everybody can get the perfect cat eye. Everybody can get the makeup application that they're looking for. So I picked up a kit specifically for eyeliner and there were two pieces to the kit. Um, one is the wand, and look at this packaging, isn't this just beautiful? And the second is the actual makeup itself that the wand fits into. So I haven't tried these yet, so this is gonna be a first impressions video, but I thought that helps to sort of say whether or not this product is gonna work for the beginner. Now, while I do tinker a lot with makeup, eyeliner isn't my specialty, and I don't wear eyeliner a lot. And if I do, there might be a little bit on the tight line, but I don't do a lot of eyeliner. Um, so I'm actually anxious to try this out. So this is what the wand looks like, which to me is actually a piece of art. Okay, so this is what this thing looks like, and I just think it's beautiful. It's very well made. It's quite light, actually, but it's just a work of art. And this applicator is really what is going to make this so interesting. So it has this sort of flexible... Can you see that, Gary? Mm -hmm. It has this sort of flexible head on it. It's rubberized, but it's still stiff enough that it's going to be able to pick up product. But one of the main things is it has this little place right here to hold your hand. And this is what's supposed to help to keep things steady. And it gives you a great access sort of to all the parts of the eye. This is great. I haven't even used it yet, and so far I'm really liking it. So we are going to open up the actual um, eyeliner makeup itself. And this comes in a strange little um, shaped jar, but when you re think about it, it's absolutely genius because a round one can be kind of hard to grip, but because this has these different sides to it, it's super easy to open. And this is what the makeup looks like. Okay. Oh, it looks, looks beautiful. So it comes in two different colors. It comes in a black and a brown. I bought the brown myself because I think it's just a little less harsh. Now, there are a couple of ways to use this applicator as far as I can tell. Now, depending on what, we tr what you're trying to do, and we're going to do a couple of different things to test it out. Now, if you're just trying to do a line sort of on the upper lash line, then you're going to want to use just the tip. If you want to do a tight line with the upper with the upper lash line, then you're going to put the makeup more on the upper section. And if you want to tight line the bottom, you're going to put it on the lower. And I'm going to try all these today to see how it goes, okay? All right, we're going to give it a go. The first thing I'm going to do is just see how it goes along the top eyelash line. I'm not great at this, so I'm probably the, the perfect person to uh, to be giving this a go. Um, so I'm going to take the product, I don't know if you can see this, and I'm just going to kind of scrape it. I'm not digging into it, but they do say you need to kind of scrape it. Now it looks kind of hard, like it's actually not picking it up very easily. So I'm kind of doing it all along the tip, and I'm just going to apply this to my upper lash line now. Now it does feel a little on the drying side. Now, what they say you should do is rest this actually on your cheek and that's where you're gonna get some of that stability. So if you rest this device right here on your cheek and then you kind of move it along the lash line, that is what's gonna give that stability so that your hand isn't moving around a lot. I don't really like that myself but I can understand why why they're saying that. But I find that it's a little restrictive and I'd be worried if it's not gonna move my makeup around. Not sure. But you know, I have to say, this is very easy to use. I might've been a little <laughs> heavy handed and I might've gone a little higher than I should, 
just now realizing I have to work today. People are going to be like, what's up with the makeup, Mare? Okay, that's totally easy to use. Now, it may be a little trickier when you try to go to the inside. Yeah, it's a little harder to get to. I have a hard time seeing into it. You know, going, oh, that was a bit messy. That's all right, user error. But it does go to show that I'm struggling to get that onto that inside corner. Okay, I can clean all that up. But what I can say is it's very easy to apply. And we'll try to do a little flick. The flick is not my forte, but I see this is something I might need to do a little bit more practice on. Okay, well that's not bad. It's probably a little low for my hooded eye, but all in all, I have to say, that's not bad. Okay, I'm going to try it on the other eye. Now I'm still using, this This for me gets a little bit more complicated because I have to kind of go like this. And you probably can't see it with the angle of the camera. But I do find this sort of arch over the eyelash is actually really cool. And I have to say, very easy to use and easy to apply. You'd have to be sticking a pencil like this at, at a sort of a strange angle, whereas you get to keep this down and you can see through the device so that you can see your eye, which is actually really, really smart. That looks really good. Yeah, and if I were gonna try to do a little flick again, <laughs> they won't be even, but we're gonna give it a try. And I've got my hooded eye situation, so I definitely need to figure out the best angle for a flick with the hooded. Well, that was certainly not it. <laughs> ah, well. I think if you... They say if you flick it up like that, that should work which I'd say it does, it's just I have hooded eyes, so it's kind of collapsing on itself. But I think that that would be easy to use if you weren't <clears throat> hooded, like myself. Okay, so all in all, I think with some fine tuning, I think, I think this could be really good, and I'm really digging it. Okay, so that was the first way to apply it, was just straight along the lash line using the tip. Now I'm gonna try to do a tight line on the upper lash, which might be harder to see, now that I've done my lash line. I probably should have done that differently, but I'm gonna put this on the top. And then I'm gonna line the lash underneath. Oh my God, that is so easy. Wow. Wow, okay. It doesn't interfere. It's just so easy to get that in there. Okay, tight lining, awesome. And now I will do the bottom lash. So to do that, I'm gonna pick up the product on the bottom of the nib. Let's see, without me having to touch anything, how that's gonna do. Oh wow, well, that's doing pretty well. I'm totally going to have to take off my makeup <laughs> before work. Yeah. Now, I don't usually tight line. Personally, I don't usually tight line in a black on the bottom lash because I think... I don't know. Maybe I should do that a little bit more. <laughs> So ordinarily, I would use a, a lighter, um, brighter color because it sort of opens up the eyes. It's certainly very dramatic, and it's just not something that I do very often. Um, but I'd say that if you do... Wow, this is just so easy. And particularly if you have serious skills in this department. Um, like, that is just so easy. works really, really well. 
Now, I'm sure I could be tidier. I'm sure there's a lot more that I could be doing, but that's user error. This is a lovely device, I have to say. No spillage. I don't see anything dropping down. Like nothing is falling off of the. There's no fallout. Not sure if it's exactly the look for me, but I mean, if this is what you're looking for, I think this is a fantastic product. Um, it's super easy to use. You put your little finger there. That indentation, it just makes it so easy. And it's funny that just the access to all the different parts of your eyes, it's all right there. You can see through it. There's no maneuvering. There's none of, I probably could benefit from <laughs> doing a bit of that. I need to work on the, on the cat eyes, but that's one of the things that they talk about, the ease of the flick. When you get older, when you're my age, that when you start to have the droop, the flick isn't as simple and there's a little bit more that needs to be done. But I think that for the regular old person, I think that this would deliver that with ease. It's just, you can see, you can build on it so easily. Yeah, I think this is a great product. Now, the one thing that they do say is that make sure after every single usage that you just give it a wipe. I use an antibacterial wipe to make sure you get all the product off because it's it will it will cake and deteriorate. But look at that, that's just as good as new. So that is is the applicator. Now, the formula on this, I'm very curious to see how this is going to last. I do believe it's a long wear, waterproof. It's a little on the drier side than a lot of these types of products. Um, but I'll know more after the wear and to see how th this comes off. However, I mean, I just think this is a beautiful set. I mean, not only is it actually beautiful, but it is really, really easy to use. So I paid 50 US dollars for this duo together. They have two other products in the range that they offer. One is for your eyebrows and the other is for the eyelashes. But the, again, the ergonomics behind the design, the way that you would hold the wand is totally different, totally revolutionary. Now I didn't buy those, I'm wishing that I did, just so I could give those a try. And I still might buy them just to see what I think. But I think that this is absolutely a home run. Now this is definitely more eye makeup than I would wear. Um, but it does encourage me to do some experimentation. Like I wouldn't do this much tight lining with such a dark color. I don't know, maybe I will on a, on a, on a night out, which I feel like I haven't had in forever. Um, but I think that it's super, super easy to use and it's something I intend to use over and over and over again. Okay guys, I'm sorry, I have to put a general disclaimer out there. I know that I don't sound great at the moment. I'm a bit under the weather. And Gary tells me I keep sniffling throughout this video, which I wasn't even aware of, so apologies for that. You can kind of hear it. Oh, I just hit it right there. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> so that's it for today's video. Have you heard of this product? Have you used this product? Do you have any tips and tricks for me who is still sort of experimenting in this space? I do think it's innovative and I think it's something that would be great for people who have some physical challenges. If you have arthritis, I think that there's something about this that is just so easy to use that it's probably worth exploring the other products in their range too. So if you've used this product, leave your comments down below because I'd really like to hear about your own experiences with it. Um, I thought this was a home run and it's something that I'm definitely going to use more of um, in the future. So if you like the look of the video, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and also hit that bell so that you know every time a new video is uploaded. So thank you so much again for joining today and I will see you at the next video. Bye. <laughs> it's not going to help. It's not going to help, Gary.